Well, anything in space can be represented using three axes, x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. There are two systems, left-hand system and right-hand system. Here, in the right-hand system, let's assume that x-axis should always be represented using thumb and y-axis with index finger, while as the z-axis with middle finger. So, in this case, where z-axis is coming towards us, can only be represented using right hand because middle finger is coming towards us. On the other hand, if we look uh, here, the z axis that is getting away from us can only be represented using left hand where the middle finger is getting away from us. The only thing we have to take care that is the correct axis should be represented with correct finger. If it is so, then we can say that this is the left hand system and this is the right hand system. Objects can be represented in three dimension with different coordinate frames like modeling coordinates, world coordinates, weaving coordinates and device coordinates. And all of these frame of references happens in a series like first we create and design the object using modeling coordinates and then we put the object in space and using the world coordinate we can exactly determine its location then we translate this 3d scene into a 2d scene on certain weaving plane and then after if we have to display these images on the uh, display devices so after displaying on uh, devices we use the uh, device uh, coordinates or screen coordinates to represent the points on screen so let's see one by one modeling coordinates these are also called as object coordinates local coordinates or master coordinates basically in this system the origin of the axis should always lie on the surface of the object or inside the object but it shouldn't lie outside the object so we can say that using the modeling coordinates we can uh, exactly measure the dimensions of the object it's used to create and design the object here you can see that the origin lies at this vertex and we can say that how tall it is so these types of the uh, coordinates are used to create uh, the object and there is nothing like we are comparing this object with anything else world coordinates in this reference frame we place the object in space or in 3d system and um, by using the world coordinate system that is having three axes x y and z with uh, origin uh, somewhere in the world and through this system we can exactly determine the location of the object through which it can be referenced so we can say that how far it is from x axis and z axis and y axis here comes the most important part that is weaving coordinate suppose this is in the uh, world coordinate system and an object is uh, placed here and we are observing the object from this direction so we can say that this is the 3d scene and if we observe the object or look at the object and the image will be formed on the wall of retina so then the image will no longer be a uh, 3d image but uh, it will get translated into a 2d image or if we are uh, capturing the photo of this image then also the image will be formed on the film of the camera uh, that is uh, that will also be a two dimension image because that will produce a photograph by all means the image will be formed on certain plane that is called the weaving plane and the image on the weaving plane uh, look like this and on the weaving plane if we have to determine the location of any point or the part of any image we use the two axes that is x axis and y axis and through which we can and determine the location of any point because it is an weaving plane so before proceeding further there is one more important concept uh, basically there are the two facts about weaving and that is we wouldn't be able to view all the sides of an object uh, 
we can only view those sides upon which the projection is formed here you can see that we will be able to see the two sides and top but we wouldn't be able to see the back side and the bottom and the another thing is that uh, we can only view up to certain distance we can't view up to infinity so the object that are far from us will appear smaller here you can see that this is the road and the width of uh, this road is the same all across but if we look uh, at the um, this point uh, here it seems that road is very narrow and uh, its width is very less but here it seems it is wider but it's not so basically the things that are far from us and away from us will always appear smaller in 2d system suppose we are uh, uh, looking at the object or uh, we are observing the object from here uh, the image will be formed on the wall of retina or uh, if we have placed the camera here then the image will be formed inside the uh, uh, film on camera but we can also place an external weaving plane and the image can be formed on this weaving plane just by drawing the projection lines from the object and this image can be formed and here you can see that uh, we have taken the z axis that is getting away from us just because uh, i have told you that the things that are far from us will appear smaller so that means the things that are getting away from us we have to measure those things so that's why here we take the z axis in the same direction that is getting away from us and it is a left handed system device coordinates it is the same as the weaving coordinates but the difference here is anything we view in a photograph poster as a 2d view we have to now represent these things in the digital devices that is mobile phone tablets laptop etc so if we represent these images in the uh, display devices uh, so different display devices have different uh, screen aspect ratios and screen sizes so the device will always adjust the image according to its screen so the same image or the same object may appear smaller or bigger on different devices its shape wouldn't get changed but its size may vary let us uh, see here suppose this is a screen 1 and this is screen 2 uh, we simply rotated this device so image here seems to be little wider while as the image here is the same image so we can say that if we have to uh, locate uh, any point on this screen or if we have to determine the any part of the image on the screen we use the two axes that is x and y and we represent the location of that point uh, basically the uh, image is formed using the pixel values so any pixels can be represented in x and y so that's why we say it is the uh, screen coordinates and any image that is on the weaving plane needs to be first normalized and then it can be displayed in uh, the device because by normalizing we adjust the size according to the screen homogeneous coordinates or projective coordinates we know that the cordesian system is used in euclidean geometry so any point in a two dimension system can be represented like this the b point can be represented by 4 comma 4 so we have the two coordinates x and y here we can write uh, two coordinates x and y on the other hand in homogeneous we can uh, write the same point by x comma y and 1 so the x coordinate y coordinate and the another coordinate 1 that is the constant and it is some sort of extra information why it is so because look if we have to represent the same point it wouldn't be possible in the Cartesian system meanwhile we can do so in the homogeneous system like suppose if we represent the point b it can only be represented by the point 4 comma 4 
so if we alter the values of these coordinates the value will get changed on the other hand the same point can be represented like 4 comma 4 that is x coordinate y coordinate and 1 and if we multiply this uh, pair with uh, any non-zero scalar number we can get the multiple coordinate pairs like if we multiply it with 2 we will get 8 8 2 and if we multiply it with 5 uh, we will get 20 20 and 5 and similarly and so on so all of these coordinate pairs represent the same value that is the same point b and if we have to determine the uh, original value of the point b what we have to do we have to divide x and y coordinate with this constant value that is uh, let's take this value 8 8 2 so if we divide 8 by 2 8 by 2 we will get 4 comma 4 that is the actual value of this point and similarly 20 uh, divide the x coordinate 20 with this constant 5 and y coordinate 20 with this uh, constant value 5 so it will be 20 by 5 20 by 5 and give us the 4 comma 4 and similarly we can <coughs> make the multiple coordinate pairs for the same point in homogeneous and these coordinate systems are very much useful in matrix transformation or uh, representing the uh, coordinates of an object in matrix form we are going to, uh, to look all that in 2d 3d transformation and for now it's enough to understand that how to represent the homogeneous coordinates and similarly for 3d we can write uh, the x y z three coordinators and in homogeneous we can write x y z and one 